I live in Wimbledon and I've known the windmill for a long time, walks on the common and so on. And I was in touch with the people who were trustees before me and that's how I got drawn in. I love its historic nature. It's a real piece of history, architectural history, and the fact that it has so much style and character, which is part of the original building. The construction was started in 1816, uh, when Charles March, who was a carpenter, uh, was given a grant of a piece of land to build the mill on, on the proviso that he made the mill available to local people for bringing that grain and getting grown. The upper stone is moving, but the lower stone remains stationary and it's the grinding action between the two stones which produces the flour. So it was 1816 it was started and 1817 that it came into use as a mill and it continued as a mill until 1864. The miller would bring the grain in a sack on his shoulder and empty it into this hopper and with the weight of the grain this string would go down and as the grain got used the bell would ring so he would know when to come and refill it. Mills were all over the country. It was the only way of making flour. When this particular mill was built, it was built on a piece of land which is quite high and there were hardly any trees around so it would catch the wind. There was a lot of wind to catch. Very different to what we see now with lots of trees going up and buildings all around us. The rewarding part is seeing visitors coming in seeing a wonderful building which is carrying on being used in a way which is creative, educational as well, um, um, and playing a part in, in preserving a, a really important piece of Wimbledon history.